My name is Chet Dixon. I am the Technical Director at Taylin Prosthetics and Orthotics. Taylin is a leading manufacturer of prosthetic componentry and we also have over 100 patient care centers. We are a family owned business that has been in operation for over 60 years and our headquarters are here in Taipei, Taiwan. Today I would like to talk with you about how we can help you and your patients step into the future by providing value and function with the V1 microprocessor knee. So now let's take a short look at an introductory video of the V1. With the V1 microprocessor knee, Talon has created the most advanced four bar polycentric knee available today. We have focused on creating a knee that is continuously adapting to the user's demands while providing freedom from the limitations of traditional mechanical single axis and polycentric knees. I will now explain why the V1 is considered the next evolution of technology when compared with conventional mechanical knees. We are using the best things from many technologies. We have taken microprocessor technology, which is capable of analyzing multiple data and sensor inputs hundreds of times a second, and combined this with the inherent design advantages of a polycentric knee in both swing and stance phase. Using self-learning capabilities to provide a knee that functions naturally and adapts to the user's needs. We've also created an easy to use app for the user to make any changes very simply if they are wanting to do a specific activity. The microprocessor's ability to continuously measure, analyze, and adapt to the user's needs can create confidence in all walking situations. This unique ability of adjustment on demand is not available in any other four bar knee. The V1 can detect a change in the user's walking condition, send this information to the microprocessor, and then perform calculations that generate a change and will adjust to the user's needs. And this continuous circle of input, analysis, and output is performed over 200 times a second. We are able to provide a situational awareness for the microprocessor through the use of an advanced sensor technology. We have developed our G sensor to duplicate and simulate the same type of information that is provided by a force plate in a gate lab. The G sensor measures what we call impaction which is an approximation of force through vibration. This sensor, in combination with a gyroscope and multiple magnetic sensors, can create a spatial awareness, providing data for the knee to make decisions based on a complex series of algorithms. Many of our long-term Talon customers may know the first version of the V1 was introduced over five years ago. We've continued to work and improve the features and benefits of the V1 knee and now proudly introduce our second generation. Some of you may also be familiar with our AdLib 5-bar microprocessor knee and the matrix system that is used during the initial setup. For those of you who are not familiar with this, I will explain what all of this means. The matrix system was developed through years of research in collaboration with a leading university in Taiwan. By using the gait analysis of above knee amputees while walking through a range of cadence and conditions. From this, we designed and created our G-Sensor technology and the matrix system. The matrix system is a series of algorithms designed to provide an appropriate output, creating adaptable adjustments as the user is walking with the knee. This provides a more natural gait pattern for the user, regardless of their activity. Let's take a closer look at how we choose a matrix and then what happens next. A matrix selection is based on three parameters, the patient's weight, activity level, and residual limb length. With this information, the clinician can select the appropriate matrix to begin the dynamic process of alignment and training. It is recommended that the clinician try various matrices with the patient to clearly determine the most appropriate setting. Once a matrix is selected, the smart technology of the microprocessor will continuously adapt to the user's demand and changes in gait. 
in the example above, the matrix selection of three would be appropriate for three types of patients. A patient with a weight of between 100 and 120 kilograms that is of moderate activity and has a short residual limb. A patient with a weight of between 80 kilograms and 100 kilograms that is of moderate activity and has a limb length of short to medium. And a patient who is considered lightweight with a weight of 65 kilograms to 80 kilograms who is of moderate activity and has what would be considered a long limb length. It should be noted that the matrix system will only include a range of resistance settings from zero to eight, and it is not possible for the matrix to allow a resistance setting of nine. This is because the knee will become very difficult to bend at this level and may cause a negative experience for the patient. The patient will have the ability to change the resistance setting to a level nine when they are in manual mode, and we will talk a little more about this shortly. This self-adjusting technology, combined with a four-bar polycentric design, create a natural walking style for the user that is smooth, safe, and energy efficient. Talon has been a leader in polycentric knee design since the early 1970s, and this experience has allowed us to revolutionize the design with the combination of microprocessor technology. Using the mechanical advantages of the polycentric knee, the V1 has a higher level of inherent stability when compared to a monocentric or single axis type knee. Also, because of the mechanical design, less energy is required to flex the knee when initiating swing phase, as well as less energy being required to maintain the knee in extension when in stance phase. The collapsible linkage and the horizontal motion of the instantaneous center of rotation, or ICR, during swing phase improves ground clearance, reducing the likelihood of stumbling, and this also eliminates the need for unnecessary shortening of the pylon of the prosthesis, which can reduce excessive trunk motion and also lower the impact forces during the stance phase of the gait cycle. There is also an initial knee head angle adjustment that can be altered to maximize the stance phase stability and reduce the effort required to initiate knee flexion, again, saving energy for the patient. When we combine the mechanical advantages of a four-bar polycentric knee with the self-adapting microprocessor capabilities to actively adjust our proven, durable, and reliable pneumatic cylinders, you have a microprocessor-controlled knee that has demonstrated sturdiness and dependability requiring very little maintenance over its lifetime. Now that we have a good understanding of the matrix system, and sensors behind our intelligent knee, as well as the inherent advantages of the polycentric design, let's take a closer look at the setup process and the easy user adjustments that are possible with the newest generation of the V1 knee. It seems that almost everything in today's world has an app. Well, the V1 knee is no different. Gone are the days of using a special program link to your laptop and the knee to do the initial setup. And now we have introduced an app for just this purpose. Currently, the app is available for Android-based devices, and soon it will be available for iOS devices. Once the app is downloaded and Bluetooth is enabled on your phone or tablet device, the clinician can select the knee for the setup. The clinician will access the expert function of the app and begin selecting the appropriate matrix for the programming. Again, matrix selection is determined by the user's weight, activity level, and residual limb length. It's just as easy to change this matrix and observe the impact on the patient's gait through various walking conditions. Once the clinician and the patient are satisfied with the function of the knee, the clinician will exit the expert area of the app and the settings will be saved. It should be noted that the expert function of the app is only available to registered clinicians and it is not possible for the patient to change the matrix once it is selected. Let's take a look at the clinician and the patient going through a portion of this initial setup phase. The patient is under 70 kilograms, is considered active, and has a long limb length. The clinician will begin with the recommended matrix level of three, but also during the process, 
the clinician will experiment with Matrix 2 and Matrix 4, receiving feedback from the patient and analyzing the patient's gait during the process. The user can also download the app and log in as a user to make changes to the resistance settings of the knee. With the same easy way the clinician can set up the knee, the user has the ability to make adjustments to the resistance settings within a matrix. This may be necessary for when they will be doing a specific activity or feel it is needed. The user can select the manual mode and change the resistance from 0 to 9 and the knee will automatically adjust to this new setting. The knee will remain at this resistance level until the user returns to automatic mode and then the matrix range will be in effect. This allows independence and freedom from restriction for the user, giving them more confidence to do all the things they want to do. When the patient enters the manual mode, they can change the resistance settings by using an arrow up or an arrow down button that will make the desired changes. Here are examples of when this might be preferred. If a user will be carrying a heavy load or backpack, they may want to increase the resistance to provide improved security with the extra weight. Or during long periods of standing on an incline, increasing the resistance can reduce the energy requirements on the user. A resistance level of nine can be chosen for the user for specific activities, such as standing on a ladder. However, it is not recommended that the user attempt to walk with this level of resistance as it may be hard for them to initiate knee flexion and may result in a loss of balance or stumble. Let us take a look at an example of this higher flexion resistance setting. When lowering the resistance settings, the patient would use the same up or down arrow buttons to make the changes in any direction. These are some examples for when a lower resistance setting may be desired. An activity like riding a bike would be better with a lower resistance setting and a more freely swinging knee function. Or if the patient would like to sit with a cross leg for an extended period of time. In this video, we can see a patient using a lower resistance setting while riding a bike. All of this technology and innovation can give the user more freedom, more choices, and more opportunity to live their best life. Now let's take a closer look at the product specifications. Our second generation V1 microprocessor knee has two different product models, the V1 MPK and the V1Z MPK. The V1 knee has a patient weight rating of 125 kilograms and is appropriate for a K2 or K3 user. Because of the carbon fiber construction, it is also very lightweight at 1.1 kilograms and has a maximum knee flexion angle of 142 degrees. The V1Z is offered as the most affordable microprocessor knee available. The knee has an aluminum alloy construction and the maximum patient weight limit is also at 125 kilograms. The weight of the knee has a small increase to 1.2 kilograms and there's a small decrease in the maximum knee flexion angle at 140 degrees. This knee is also appropriate for K2 and K3 users. 
Both knees use a lithium ion battery with a standard charge lasting up to three days under normal usage conditions. It is recommended that the knee be charged nightly when not in use. There is a USB Type-C battery charger included. The app can display the battery life and there is also a battery indicator light on the knee unit. It is recommended that the battery be replaced every two years. If the knee loses power because of lack of charging, the resistance level will default to a setting of three and the knee will operate like a traditional mechanical four bar knee. It will remain in this state until the knee unit is completely recharged. With the V1 series of microprocessor controlled four bar pneumatic knees, Taylin has focused on bringing advanced technology, reliability, and affordability for patients around the world. An economical alternative when compared to other mechanical and microprocessor knees on the market that provides value and function. With two design choices available, we hope to offer value and affordability to patients worldwide, providing access to advanced technology and an opportunity to live their best life. The V1 microprocessor knee will provide intelligent function that can adjust to your patient's needs with technology that can detect, think, and control the four bar polycentric knee through all of life's activities. Let's take a look at a video of some different patient activities and review some of the most important benefits for our patients wearing the V1 knee. With the use of smart technology and the benefit of adaptability provided by the use of a microprocessor control, the V1 MPK will continuously adapt to the patient's needs, making the necessary changes for life's demands. A combination of sensors, including the advanced G sensor, are able to self-adjust with reliable and durable pneumatic controls of the knee. Having this advanced technology working along with the many inherent mechanical advantages of a four-bar polycentric knee design that include improved stability and stance phase, ease of knee flexion initiation during swing phase, and improved ground clearance provide the patient with an energy efficient and more natural walking style. The V1 carbon fiber MPK and the V1Z MPK are the most affordable microprocessor knees available today, allowing users worldwide to take their next step with the benefits of technology that is accessible and provides value and function. The V1 microprocessor four bar polycentric knee can meet your patient's demands from rehabilitation throughout life providing freedom and function, allowing them to live their best life. Thank you for taking the time to join me today, and please feel free to send any questions into the comment or dialogue box, and we'll be happy to answer. Thank you, and have a good day.